this man for real. It's great when you're fishing for these bass in this current. This drag's silky smooth. Fish light line, light lures. 20, this is a 2500 model. Handles bass in that faster current. Not a big one, but healthy, strong. Hungry. Letting it drift in the current, not doing anything. If it hits the bottom, I just pick it up, just let it settle back down. You know, people will say you gotta fish deep, slow water to catch wintertime smallmouth, and that's not always the case. A lot of days I have my best days fishing in need of waist deep water, fast water, fish move. They go where the food is. They don't sit in one spot. When you come out, you have to kind of feel it. You know, maybe start it uh, in the deeper water and work your way to some faster water to try or some shallow water. Rocks, mud, they could be sitting anywhere. You know, when it gets really, really cold down into the 30s, they're usually in slow water. But in, in the springtime, when the water temperatures, you know, gets to 40, that's when I go out and start fishing. And they'll, they'll be sitting in real fast water at 40 degrees at times. So, um, you know, if you're not getting your hits in your area, just try different types of water to see where you can get that, get that strike. And then you might be able to, you know, duplicate that up and down the river in different spots if you're in the right area. Slow and steady. I'm just letting it drift in the current real slow. It's like something it's struggling coming downstream, you know, a minnow or a crayfish or an insect just floating in the current. You know, on a cold day in the wintertime, you you'd be Happy to get two or three bites. If you're lucky, you get more. Water's cold, though. Look at this fish. Just barely grabbed it. Look at this thing. 